Okay, so now what we're going to do today is my daughter's getting married, so she's going to have a bachelorette party. And what they're going to do is they're going to the wine country and go wine tasting, and they'll spend the night there. So what I've done is I bought these robes, and I'm going to embroider each one of their names and who they are. For instance, this is my daughter, um, and she's the bride. And then we have the next one we have is her maid of honor maid of honor and their name. And then the next one I'm going to show you is a bridesmaid. She's not just going to have her wedding party at the bachelorette party. So now this one is for one of the friends that will be attending the um, bachelorette party and this and her name's Becca. Every one of them on the back of the robe have Jane's bachelorette weekend. So this is the next thing we're going to show you. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to put your garment in the hoop and I've chosen the large extra large hoop because we're doing an extra large pattern. And the first thing you want to do is lay your um, tear away. This is a stabilizer and this is one of my favorite stabilizers because once you've got your embroidery, you just tear it away and just like, you know, it says. So I want to put my stabilizer here and then I want to get my garment and I want to get it ready to lay right in the center of the hoop. So now I've got it. Then we're going to lay, this is another stabilizer. It's water soluble and um, this is really good to use on pile fabrics such as um, the velvet or here we have terry cloth. So and it, what it does is it helps hold down the pile so that the needle doesn't go in between the pile. So we're going to lay that there. And then we want to put our top hoop on there. Once it locks in, then you want to kind of pull your stabilizer. And this holds the pile down. And we're ready to take it to the machine and start embroidering. Now this design that we're going to be embroidering on this wonderful professional um, embroidery machine I've actually designed on my computer and I saved it to a memory stick so then you just simply take this memory stick that you saved your design your embroidery design take this memory stick and you just simply stick it into your professional embroidery machine and then you just pull it up and that's how easy it is Okay, to begin with, there's some very important steps that you want to do before you start this machine. First thing is, is you want to oil your bobbin. Every day before you start, you want to oil your bobbin. So that's what we're going to do here. Just one drop of oil. Okay, and with this large of a um, design, we want to make sure we put in a new bobbin, which I'm going to do right now. It's a real simple thing. You just put your bobbin in, drop it in here, close it. Okay, once you've oiled it, you've put your bobbin in, the next step you want to do is you want to um, press OK, because I've already turned on the sewing machine. So now I'm going to pick a design that I've already saved inside the computer. So that would be this one. Now we want to install our hoop carefully. And I've already got it set up here for the large hoop. And I want to pull this back up inside here. Place that there. 
Make sure it's clear under here. And then we want to set. We want it. We're, I've already edited it, so we're, we're ready to sew. Press sewing, press lock. And now while this is sewing, I think I'll go make myself a cup of tea because I'm done. I don't have anything else to do until it says finished. It'll go through each thread color itself and all I have to do is take it off the hoop when it's done. Okay, our uh, embroidery design is finished and I'm going to just simply take it out of the hoop and then I want to bring it over here. The next thing I want to do is I want to take in all the little extra threads that weren't cut like between the J and the A. I just want to take my handy little scissors here and just trim them off. Okay. We've trimmed off all our excess thread. Now we want to just simply take it out of this hoop. And you, as you can see, this is stabilizer by Monosol. And so I want to just simply rip it away. Now we want to take it, turn it over. And this is what I love about this. This is your tear away and that's exactly what it is. You just simply tear it away. This is my favorite stabilizer because if you're bored too, that's kind of fun just to tear it away. Now you don't have to get every little bit out. You can leave it, but I I like to pull every little bit out and then you have that nice fabric against your skin. And it just really is easy to tear it away too. And kind of fun. So the other thing I wanted to talk about is the water soluble um, uh, stabilizer by Monosol. There's other things that you can do with this and I'll show you in some of the other upcoming episodes.